hip, hip, hooray for DNA. It provides the key to the plans for making everything in you and me. Welcome to another past HSC exam question videos. What we're going to do in this video, we're going to cover this exam question, which comes from the chromosome and inheritance chapter of the Blueprint of Life module. I'll do it in a second, I'll read the actual question. Once I've read the question, you get about five seconds to pause the video. Once you've paused the video, attempt the question, and then press play, and I'll go over the actual answer itself. The question is, Gregor Mendel and Thomas Morgan both use breeding experiments to deduce fundamental principles of genetics. Complete the four blank boxes in, table, in, the, in the table, and that's worth two marks. This, mean, this says tall, short, red-eyed female, white-eyed female, XR, XR, so X capital R, X capital R, times X small r, Y. And this is, you've got a Punnett square, and you've got capital T, small, uh, capital T here, and small t, small t here, and then the crosses. And yeah, that's it. So attempt the question, and then really press play. Welcome back. Alright, so first question, all you have to do is you have to actually fill in the missing parts. And we'll start with the Mendel monohybrid cross. We know that the first cross, the parent generation, we had a tall and a short. And what it's asking is asking for the genotype of the tall and short. What were the genotypes? And we've got the first cross Punnett square here, and it's actually giving us genotypes. So one parent, the tall parent was this, it's tall. And this was the short parent. So we know that one of the parents to make the F1 generation was the TT, double capital T's, which is tall, homozygous tall. And the other one was two small T's, which is homozygous short. So that's our first part. Let's get to half a, half a mark. And then we have to talk about the phenotypes. So what are their appearances? Well, they're all heterozygous, but they all have one dominant T, so they're all going to be tall. You're going to get half mark for this, half mark for this, and then going to the second part, which was Morgan's fruit fly experiment. Remember that was when it comes to sex linkage. He did the experiment of sex linkage, and he had one red-eyed female across the white-eyed female. The actual genotypes of those red-eyed and white-eyed females were as following: so X two dominant red eye X's, and the white-eyed male had a Recessive small r, x, and a y. You do your null and Punnett square, so that's the first this part here, you do Punnett square. Then what you would have done is you would have put, let's say we put the female here, female here, so the female genotype was with x capital R, x capital R, and the y that male was here, x recessive r and the y. Then again, random assortment. So this one would pair with this one. You have X R X R, so capital R and small R. This one with this one, we've got X R and a Y, so capital R and Y. Next two would have been again the same thing, capital R and small R, recessive. And then this one and this one is a capital R and a Y. So here we have two females, this one and this one, and we have two males, this one and this one, and because they all have at least one dominant R, so they have one red dominant R, that means they're all going to have red eyes. So the phenotype, their appearance, is they're all going to have red eyes. So even though some of them were carriers of the white eyes, because they have a dominant R as well, their red eyes overshadows their white eyes. So you're going to have red eyes. So that gets you half mark for this, half mark for this, and it'll be two marks out of two. And where does this question come from? It came from these dot points. Describe the work of Morgan's that led to the understanding of sex linkage. And this was from Morgan's work of when it comes to sex linkage, that exact experiment here, this one. And the other part of this part came from describe outcomes of monohybrid crosses involving simple dominants using Mendel's explanation. This was an example of a simple dominant monohybrid cross. I hope that was useful. 
Thank you for watching.